If you're looking for Daniel, he's not here. He's gone for a walk. Oh, I don't blame him. He's got a lot to consider. It's you I wanted to chat with. Me? Yes. We can go next door if you like. Be more private there. OK. We're supposed to be in a relationship. If that means anything, it means being honest. We promised each other we'd tell the truth. I was going to. I was. I was just waiting for the right moment. We're having a kid together, Daniel. And you couldn't face an awkward conversation. What does that even say about us? Do you want this baby now? Did you ever even want it? Of course I did. I do. You let me witter on talking about the flat and talking about a future that you knew would never even happen. No, it is going to happen. I'm not going to Oxford, right? I'm going to stay on at Manchester, stay here with you and the baby. And resent us every day for it, wondering what might it be. That's not true. I love you. And I want my future to be here with you and the baby. Must be a pain having no water down here. Oh, we've got used to it by now. You know, when I was growing up, there was only one lavatory and it was out in the yard. Anyway, a lot of things have changed since those days. Yeah. Yeah, Oxbridge was a pipe dream, even for boys at grammar school. You had to be truly exceptional. Alas, I wasn't. Still, you've done all right for yourself. You think? Do you know where I was born, Sinead? No. The reason why I should not ever going to be a blue plaque. Next door. So my whole life's journey can be covered within ten paces. Still, it's, uh, it's nice round here. Yeah, well, uh, that's not really my point. Daniel has a chance to spread his wings and fly. He's been blessed with great gifts. I know, he's clever. Well, more than clever, he's got wonderful potential, which Oxford will enable him to realise. You don't want to deny him that opportunity. I haven't tried to. I, I only found out an hour ago. No, no, I'm not saying you'd consciously hold him back, but uh, the simple fact of your relationship could have the same effect. It's, it's Daniel's decision. It's not mine or yours. Daniel's not thinking very clearly. I mean, you're his first girlfriend, and he's uh, naturally infatuated with the novelty more than anything else. No, you're wrong about that. Daniel loves me. Really? Oh, doubt he really understands what love is yet. <laughs> Don't want to seem unkind, but you've only been seeing each other for a few weeks. Long enough to know how we feel. You're just out of a long-term relationship with Chesney. And this is Daniel's first fling. So let's see this dalliance of what it is and agree that we can't let him throw away his future for it. It's not a dalliance. You don't understand it's more than that, a lot more. How can you say that? Because I'm... I'm carrying Daniel's baby, your grandchild. 